Well, that's part of why we're here, is because they, they can't keep up with all the trails that are out here that the public wants. For more than 40 years, Gallatin Valley backcountry horsemen have been clearing trails, not for pay, but for the passion of service. The fact that we volunteer for the U.S. Forest Service is impressive to me. Janice is charged with getting the members up to speed on safety on the trail and notes how the team needs to be aware of how to clear brush and deadfall trees safely and in line with the U.S. Forest Service guidelines. It's a big effort and after all these storms and the season we had, it has to dry up enough for us to get there and then sometimes we have to clear a trail again just to get another mile or two further in. Often they meet at the trailhead at nine and they don't get back till five, six or seven at night. If organizations like Backcountry Horsemen don't volunteer to do this, there's no way that they're going to get enough taxpayer money for the Forest Service to do it all. Looking at the Gallatin Valley Backcountry Horsemen's efforts, if you were to pay the organization in 2022, that would be over $100,000. Even now, I'm impressed with all that we can do for the Forest Service and for all the counties and the trails around. But there's the question of money for equipment that the horsemen need and use when out on the trail. And that's where the annual poker ride comes into play. The organization's only fundraiser for the entire year. There haven't been very many poker rides this or big trail rides this season because the season started so late. Janice says that the team is working hard to make sure that the 10 mile trail riding event is a success so that saws can be sharpened and tools can be purchased when needed. And just behind me past the Bridger Mountains at Bridger Bowl will be the annual poker ride. And for more information, you can head over and check out our website. In Bozeman, Jane McDonald, MTN News.